you studied about cattle farming in our previous video. In this video, we will study another part of animal husbandry. We call it poultry farming. What does poultry mean? Poultry consists of fowls which are domesticated. Common ones are the guinea fowl, chickens, geese and turkeys. What's common among all these? They provide us with meat and some of them lay eggs which are an important source of proteins for humans. Will the nutrition of these two fowls differ based on the purpose they serve? Yes, they actually do. Fowls that lay eggs do not require a heavy physical body. On the other hand, the fowls which are used for meat need to have a good physical growth. How can this be achieved? Do you know that crossbreeding takes place even in the case of the domesticated fowls? The Indian breed, for example, is crossed with a foreign breed. What is the result of such crossbreeding? The fowls that are bred in this manner have some special characteristics that prove beneficial to poultry farming. Let us look at some of these benefits. The number and quality of chicks is increased when a crossbreed is used. The sizes of the egg-laying birds are reduced, which would mean less maintenance. Most of these fowls are then resistant to high summer temperatures. What is a broiler? The chickens which are reared specifically for their meat are called broilers. Once we have two types of fowls serving two different purposes, we have a better idea of what their nutritional needs are. Broilers will have to be fed with vitamin-rich supplements in order to increase their growth rate. Heavier the chicken, higher will be its meat value. What about the fowls that lay eggs? They do not require a very heavy body. Both these, however, must be kept far from diseases and deficiencies. Proper care must be taken with regard to their sanitation and hygiene. Fowls also need to be vaccinated against various diseases. Poultry farming can be beneficial if all the basic needs of these birds are taken care of. Looking at the growing demand for meats and eggs, technology seems to be the only way to cope up. In our next video, we will look at the idea of fish production. Yes, you heard me right. Fish production is also known as pisciculture. Do watch our next video to know more.